Moses tried to speak unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they turn in and camp before Piawah, between Madal. You know what kind of spirit you put in me? And I'm going to endure until the end. Be speaking. With all due respect, you know I have to have a cup of coffee. I haven't had it yet. I um, I have a cup every other day. I know it's no excuse, but hey, you know, just trying to add a little humor here. But I know it's not the time for it. You know, they say that's the best part of waking up is having a cup of coffee. The best part of waking up would be my feet planted on an Egyptian sea headed home. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. Soon. Really soon. Most time we spoke about Pharaoh last time. Would you like for me to go to Pharaoh? Or prophesy? To Pharaoh, let your children go? Is it time for me to speak to the Pharaoh? It's not time for me to speak to the Pharaoh. It's not time. Should I say Pharaohs? It's more than one. Babylon is from east to west. And we're in the daughter. So is it time? Oh. <laughs> Flesh of Legney. For yes. He said it's time for me to speak. Listen, not my words. Uh oh. He says, speak to the pharaohs from east to west. Let his people go. Look at that. Listen. Listen at that. Listen, he's speaking to pharaohs. Excuse me. Thank you. I have to get on my knees for that. It's time to speak to the pharaohs. I will speak concerning the pharaohs. Let your people go, sir. Let your people go, Father. And send your send forth your armies. From east to west. I know it's happening, but soon the whole earth is going to have to, and, they ha and the inhabitants of it will have to pull their heads out of the sand for what you're about to do. I know it. It's a crime to speak about the Bible. For us to serve the Egyptians, then we should die in the wilderness. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Moshai, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. And the Moshai shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. And the Moshai said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me, speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward, but lift thou up thy rod, and stretch out thy hand over the sea, and divide it, and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. And I behold, I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they shall follow them. And I will get me honor upon Pharaoh, and upon all his hosts, upon his chariots, and upon his horses. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the most high when I have gotten me honor upon Pharaoh, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. And the angel of Ahiah, which went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, 
and the pillar of the cloud went from before their face and stood behind them. And it came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel, and it was a cloud and darkness to them. But it gave light by night to these, so that so that the one came not near the other all the night. And Moses stretched down his hand over the sea, and the Mosai caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land. And the waters were divided, and the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left.